Hello YouTube, Misha Crossing here with my first episode of Let's Play Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer. I will confess, I have played this before, I got it the day it came out and started playing it, but I wasn't that far into it, I figured it would be alright to start it over and just do playthroughs from the very beginning. So let's get started. Oh, the crew hard at work. I'm not going to read every word that animals say because this is a bit of a talky game. So this is just Tom Nook talking about the new hire, which is me. And of course he doesn't remember my name. A very clever way to get me to type my name in here. Nintendo. So sneaky. Ah yes, of course. Dude, it just slipped your mind. A rare moment. Oh, I am a girl. I love the new menu bubble design at the bottom there. I think it's very cute. Oh, what do I look like? The fun part. The customization part. I love the new physical customization feature in Animal Crossing. It was cute that you, you know, didn't really know what you were going to look like in the previous games, but I really, really enjoy customizing my own character. I'm pretty pale, so I'm going to make myself pretty pale. There are lots of cute eye choices. I love the sleepy eyes. I like those a lot. I think I'm going to go with these. I think I'm just going to design my character the way she was when I played this through the first time. Lots of good hairstyles. Classic middle part. Classic bangs. And I love that they have the pixie, you know, short haircuts. There's the really short one and the kind of more voluminous one. I'm going to do my standard haircut that looks very similar to my actual haircut. And I love all the bright hair colors. I might, might dye my hair a little bit later on in the game. But for now, we'll do my regular chestnut brown. Sure. <coughs> Sorry, needed to clear my throat there. Of course this is what she looks like. Yes. So happy. Oh look, I have arrived. Now I get to meet everybody that works in the office. First day at my new job. Lyle, of course. Such a weird guy. <laughs> he's so good at what he does. Even I don't quite understand what he's doing most of the time. Join the club. And Dickby. Dickie's adorable. Lottie thinks so too. Thank you, Digby. I want to work with you too. Yes, he's very enthusiastic. And Lottie, the new character for this game. She's adorable. Exceptional employee. She'll be handling my training, so she'll be taking me through the tutorial. Yes, Tom Nook, I'm sure you have many things to do. So I have been left with Lottie here. Oh, thank you. Simple interior remodel. Alright. I can do that. Practice room already. But before we get started, I should change into the uniform. Go to the changing room upstairs. Look at this sewing machine. It looks so familiar. I wonder what it might be used for. Don't know how to use it. Well, shucks. What about this? Can I use this? No fun. I guess just the changing room. 
And this is where you come to, obviously, change your clothes. Now, when you're working, you have to wear your little uniform, but you can change your pants and your hair, you know, head accessories to make it just uniquely you. Perfect fit. Yes. Accessorize however you like. Correct, correct. Let's go learn about interior design. Here we are at the practice home. Oh, that's a real home. Client is a girl who is a fan of all things cute. She's requested a room with a lovely atmosphere. So that is the theme that we're going for here, is a lovely atmosphere. Let's see what's inside the cardboard box. Just tap it down there, and it is a lovely love seat. Yes, clients often have pieces they're attached to and want those pieces incorporated in your designs. Some clients have them, some don't. So, change the orientation by tapping the furniture on the touch screen. And then to move things, you just drag it on the touch screen from one place to another. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So for furniture, we tap the leaf icon on the touchscreen. Oh, our bare bones furniture. That's so sad. Every home needs a bed, so let's have a lovely bed. Yep, that's how I choose furniture. Oh, wall decorations, of course. So we tap the wall icon to put up a wall decoration. I was never a fan of the lovely wall clock. I think it just looks a little chunky and weird, but the cherry blossom clock is, of course, cute and classic. Bold choice. Wallpaper and flooring. Duh. Tap the home icon. Make some choices. Oh, so, so few choices. That's very, very pink. Love the polka dots. I think just a standard lovely wall will be good. And for the floor, very few choices. Just the neutral floor. I think we'll do. Place a rug to complete the look. So rugs here. The lovely rug. It's a little too much for me, but you do you. I think the flower rug is going to look nice. Let's go large. Go big or go home. Oh, I'm a natural. Oh, you flatter me. Feel free to take another look at the client's request by tapping on the clipboard. Delete something by dragging it to the trash can. Then you can use the D-pad to change your point of view and look around the room. Day perspective is always great. Alright. So let's finish designing this. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this room just because, you know, we have so few options of what furniture to place. But let's go back into the furniture, find something else. In table, pastel low table, which is a new item for the game. And a lovely table, which I think is what I will do. And I love that you can place furniture items either a whole space apart to where another piece of furniture could fit in here, or you can scoot them just a little closer to where another item won't fit in there, but you can just scooch in between them to walk through. What else? What else? Sure, a marshmallow chair. Why not? Makes me want to make s'mores. And then the cupboard, cabinet, shelving section. Lovely dresser. So pink. So much pink. I like pink, but I just... 
Need to need to cool it on it a little bit, you know. <laughs> Burpee. Sorry if you're hearing my burps here. Home computer rack. Sure, it's got a little pink in it. Not too much pink. I can get down with that. Oh gosh, turn everything. In the appliances section. I don't think we'll use any of those. Lottie's just naturally super cute. She doesn't need a shower. <laughs> Got the lovely lamp and small magazine rack. Sure. Small magazine rack. And then the kind of public building section. We got some plants in here. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Most of the plant names I actually can't pronounce. That's an interesting discovery. And over here we just have the one piece of art, the flowery painting, and a few... Oh, the warbloid! Or oh, the mini warbloid. They are cute. I'll just do a regular old warbloid. And I think we need a chair at that computer rack. Mix it up a little bit. I guess we'll do the lovely chair. It's very pink, but we'll go for it. A certain someone I'm sure will love it. What else? What else? Sure. Every home needs a lamp. Put that by the bed. And there's not really much else that can go in here and look decent, you know? Guess we could do another plant. Do a plant down here. Drafting table. Definitely don't want a drafting table. That does not fit our aesthetic. This is half of playing Happy Home Designer is just clicking on the different menus repeatedly until something you somehow didn't see before just jumps out at you and tells you, I need to be in this room. Yeah, sure. Why not? And it the end table. We don't have anything to put on it, but it's whatever. I think I'm gonna turn this guy off, move the clock over there, and pretty much just call it a day on this room, I believe. Unless there's anything else to hang. Nope, just those clocks and the flowery painting in hanging form. So that's the very basics of designing a room. Later we're going to get stuff that we can set on tables. If the little plus signs are on an item on the touch screen, that means that you can set an item there that can be set on something that has to be a small item. You'll we'll see it. You'll figure it out. You're, you're smart. You got it. Yes! Done already! All done. Excellent! <laughs> Fairly decent job. Now we go into the nice, cinematic view. An utterly charming room is the theme. Such kind of calming showroom music. And you can take a picture by tapping on the touchscreen there. And orientation changes. Actually looks pretty nice. It's a good little shot. be so much better if I just had more to work with. One day I'll have access to all the things. Oh, yes, that's her house. We just made a home for Lottie. You've been in a sleeping bag on the bare floor? That's so sad. I have to be so comfortable at night. Like, I have to have all the pillows around me. All the blankets. I generally have a cat or two somewhere around me. I couldn't imagine just sleeping on the floor. 
Did I love my first day? I did! Oh man. I was born to do this. I'm ready. Just throw me right into the deep end. You were impressed. Awesome. Oh. So it seems like I'm gonna be getting out on my own pretty soon. Oh wow. Well, I'm gonna have my first real job tomorrow. So I can go ahead and head home, but first I have to write a daily report. And this is my desk back here. So special. Take a seat and write your daily report. You need to do a write-up report um, every day when you're finished with your work. It's the little details like that that keep Nook's homes running like a well-oiled machine. What's a daily report? Sit down at your desk to write up your daily report and save that day's work. Business hours are over, but you can keep playing. or er, working. After saving, select continue to move on to the next day's work, or select quit to stop playing. Okay. Now see, this is something I like a little bit more with Happy Home Designer, you know, and New Leaf and all the other Animal Crossing games you weren't able to keep playing even when the events or the main happenings of that day were over. It was in real time, so you had to wait. Of course, you could change the clock um, at the beginning of the game, but that was still seen as kind of cheating. So I like this. You can just hop right into it. So yes, we're going to write our daily report and go home. Now we get the little night scene out here. So that is it for my first installment of Happy Home Designer. I really like this game. It's a lot of fun. I can't wait to get into more of the designing, start doing some of the Main Street uh, happenings, the hospital and the school and the shop and restaurant and all of that, as well as some cutie pie villager homes. I have some amiibo cards, so I will be using some of them and designing some of those homes as well as just random visitors that show up outside of Nook's homes. And I will visit other people's projects. If you have some projects you want me to visit, or you know of someone else's project that's really, really nice that I should visit and take a look at, please give me the you know addresses, the codes that I can enter to visit them, and I'll check them out, and some of them might get put in future videos. So... Yeah, that's it for this video, and I like... Oh, okay. Gameplay data to Nintendo. Sure. I don't see why not. <laughs> Alright, and you all follow me on all the social media if you want. I have links to my Tumblr and Twitter and all of that in the description box, along with my recent YouTube videos. And let me know if you have any video suggestions. I'm always open to new ideas. You all have a great day, be kind to one another, and don't forget to be awesome. Bye.